um, I will just go very quickly to the schedule of today and the next two days. Um, we're going to present to you uh, the ideas for the, for the hackathon, the rules, uh, introduce some mentors and the judges' uh, criteria, and then you will have a workshop on Suzy AI at 4.30. Dinner will be served at 7.30, and then we all need to leave this bay around 10 o'clock. For tomorrow, Saturday, we start to open uh, the space at 8 o'clock, and then um, uh, we finalize our, uh, our team at um, 10.30. We have another panel on the year of indigenous language. And then at 11, uh, we have mentors from IBM will be around to, to, to support you. And at 11.30, we have indigenous uh, mentors from UNESCO will be around um, here again to answer question. Uh, at 1, we serve lunch. At uh, 1.30, we have another workshop uh, with deployment, uh, agile deployment on uh, Kubernetes. And at 3 o'clock, all the mentors will be here again to answer the question. OK, so tomorrow, the, uh, the, the panel from 10.30, tomorrow was moved over no, beginning of the hackathon. The UNESCO office hours instead. Yes, so that's going to be from 10.30, the UNESCO hour. You want to yes. move? Yeah. And then on Sunday, um, important time, so exactly at 2 p.m., uh, you need to submit your code, your, your work, and the presentation is going to be from 3 to 3.45. After that, we have the ceremony at 4.15. Okay, so uh, we have some very simple rules. First, be excellent to each other. Uh, we want to see the outcome. So we want to see code, we want to see demos. So work together, build something. Um, you're supposed to write your code here. So if you have done some work already before, we do not encourage that. It's, it is a hackathon. So the code should be delivered inside this hackathon. Um, code orders, we have mentors around, so he, who can go over um, your code. We um, build something new, present the project you submitted. You have every team need to give a presentation at the end of the hackathon. And uh, team size, so maximum five members in each team. Somebody come to me and ask if it's possible to have six. It's not possible. Use open data, and your code is open, which means that you need to publish your code on one of the sharing platform, GitHub, GitLab, it's up to you. But it must be available for everyone to use in the future. Are we clear about the rules? Yes? We have um, five prizes that we're going to uh, give up at the end of the hackathon. We have audience prize will be voted by the audience. We have open science prize, AI development prize, indigenous prize, and cloud prize. All the list of the prices, will, I will go into detail. Um, all of you have signed up on that post. You can look at the detail, what are exactly inside each package over there. Mentors on stage. So I would like to invite the mentors to be on stage to, um, to say uh, a quick word about what mentors, if you are in the room, please go on stage. So the mentor will, is, um, will introduce that quickly their expertise. So whenever you have any question, if you build an Android application, web application, so they will talk a little bit about their expertise. So you know who you should approach in case you have question. So I will start over here from uh, the video. Yeah. Hi, Hi. Uh, David, UNESCO. Um, what, what, I mean, I, I, I know, okay, I'm, um, so I work also in the project for indigenous languages uh, here, and uh, also I'm a, I'm a former coder, so I'm a programmer, basically, <laughs> so, um, so I'd be happy to help uh, in uh, any ways for, uh, also for where to look for data, or uh, for example, with the data from UNESCO, for example. Um, 
Hi, my name is Michael. Uh, I work for the United Nations Foundation, and I work on open source projects. So if you're interested in looking at or working with existing open source projects uh, focused on the developing world or the global south, uh, let me know. Or if you need help tapping into those communities to, to take advantage of some of the things that they've built and whatever you might be building, let me know. Hello. Hi. Uh, I'm Joey. I'm a JavaScript developer here in Singapore and a fan of Linux. Uh, I'm here for technical support, so if you need help with React or Node.js, TypeScript, Git, NPM, or Linux shell scripts, I can help. Or your development process, if you want to speed it up, uh, I can help with that. My name is Mitch, and um, I'm uh, mostly good with hardware. Uh, simple, too complex, and um, but I'm pretty good with software as well. And I'm really good for helping groups clarify uh, their ideas and bounce ideas off of and uh, motivating people. Like uh, as you're doing a project, there are ups and downs. If you're in a down, come and get me and I can give you a, a pep uh, to bring you up again. So um, yeah, I'm here to help you do the cool things that you're all going to do. So hi, my name is Jonas, I'm from Daimler. Um, my, I'm a general technologist, I would say, so I have a little bit of knowledge about all the kinds of stuff that are uh, currently in, uh, but I'm not deep in it, usually. Where I'm really deep in uh, is currently the, the whole blockchain thing, so if you have questions about that and want to stir uh, indigenous stuff uh, for human mankind for all time, then we can do that. Hi, I'm Max. Um, I'm working at Salesforce, a Singaporean company where I do machine learning and backend engineering mostly, so I'm glad to help in those areas. Hi, um, my name is Marco. I live here in Singapore. I run a few courses on uh, Python, uh, machine learning, some data science. So maybe if you have questions, maybe uh, regarding machine translation, stuff like that, uh, you can reach me anytime. Uh, I'm also the guy down there with the robot kit and the PS Lab guys. So if you go to the exhibition area, I'll probably be around. Uh, hi, my name is Andrea, as you know. Um, I'm a software developer and developer advocate. I work for IBM. My background is um, mainly in open source. Um, and um, infrastructure as a service type of project. So containers, virtual machines, serverless, this kind of stuff. I've got background in machine learning as well. And of course, you can ask me about uh, services in the IBM cloud. Hello, I'm Norbert. I'm from an IT company in Tokyo, but this is uh, unrelated. I'm, um, well, I'm a mathematician, computer scientist. You can ask me about similar things like from full stack development, uh, DevOps, typical cloud stuff, but much more interesting is probably that I have 30 years of like non-Latin writing system experience and, and learning experience in various languages. So if you have questions about writing system, then you can ask me. Hello, uh, I'm Mathura Vikas Tripura. I'll be happy to see the uh, use of indigenous languages uh, in using the open sources. So that's very much uh, my interesting area. Thank you. Hello, uh, I am Quan from Vietnam. So I am a software developer. Uh, you can ask me about web programming, including backend and frontend, and also embedded programming like Arduino or IoT or Linux. So. Uh, Mentor's photo. <laughs> okay, so we have more mentors. Uh, some uh, might be now giving a talk. In different room, they will come in uh, throughout. Uh, the hackathon. Uh, if, so I will introduce uh, uh, them later. Judging criteria. So these are a few things that you need to pay attention to. Technical implementation. 
Yeah, so I think it's quite out of the box. I don't need to explain this. Uh, of course, we're going to test your code and the application that you develop. Project adaptation. So if you read on that post, the website is explained about Hackathon, you understand that we expect you to develop something based on one of the Force Asia project. So if you have something that built based on SUSE AI, Pocket Science Lab, Batchier, or one of the projects of Force Asia, you will get a bonus point for that. And this is the double bonus point. Yeah? Use open data and open knowledge, uh, usability. Um, is it user? How is it for the user to use the app? It means user interface design of the application. Uh, solution has potential to engage a wide range of actors in the society. So not only for you as the developer to use it, but it's possible for people to contribute if they want to give feedback to the application or if they want to enhance, let's say you allow the user to collect data and enhance the application. So this is about um, engagement. Uh, scalability. So is it possible only in your local language or is it possible to run it anywhere around the world? Uh, indigenous topics, it also a bonus point. If your application that have a solution focused on indigenous uh, topic or, or if you have one of the indigenous participants in your team, you also get a bonus point, double bonus point for this. Yeah? <laughs> Lastly, inclusiveness. If you have a female participant in your team, you would also get a bonus for this. <laughs> I understand. I understand that we have more <laughs> male here, but please pay attention. So the thing is, every criteria you will get a point. So if you don't have a female participant, don't worry. You can drain an extra point if you do something related to indigenous language or you want the Force Asia projects. Yes? We are clear? Okay, very good. So, um, uh, the other uh, churches, some of them are also your mentors. So, we have um, uh, Mr. Orman. He's here, he's a mentor. So, if you keep a good relationship with him, maybe he can give you a good point. But he's not the only churches, we have so many more. So, it's just that he invited in also different criteria. So, we have Misako Ito, you did met her. We have the video story standing over there. We have uh, um, Senka uh, Savadura. He will only be here on Sunday. So he is the vice president and CTO of the cloud and coordinative software at IBM. We have, um, yeah, myself. We have Vino Kuma, the APEC technical lead for Microsoft. We have uh, Mario Belling here. Um, you already know him. We have Michael Christen, one of the lead developer of Suzy AI project. And we have here also one of the mentors, um, Mathura Bikas Tripura. So he's sitting right, right there. So these are your choices for uh, the hackathon. Uh, applying data analysis, the latest open data, open knowledge. So this is um, more detail you can find on the website. Common keywords through, uh, I already explained to you the detail, but if you want to, uh, if it's not clear enough, you can go to the website, team building. Okay, so we have uh, now moved to uh, team building exercise. How many of you already have your team? Okay, so I would suggest the people already with team to go on the side or to grab a table and the people who are not clear what you're gonna do. Uh, we start a small exercise here. The people who form the team, do you already have an idea of what you want to do? Yes? Yes, um, are you open to accept more team members or you are good? So five? Okay, so uh, so you already uh, enough people in your team. So if, okay, so what we're gonna do right now, um, the people who have not yet have a team, you can come up here to pitch your idea. If you have an idea of what you want to develop, you pitch your idea and the people who are interested in that idea can come and join you in a team. Yes, and um, okay, so 
Okay, so let's give you um, 30 seconds to think about the idea that you want to develop and then come up here to pitch your idea and say about your qualification. If you are a designer, you are a developer, and what kind of team members you are looking for. For instance, I could say that I want to develop an application that helps people to learn Khmer. I'm looking for an Android developer. I'm looking for somebody who can speak Khmer. So this is how I speak my idea. So, yeah? Yeah. So uh, give you a few minutes to think about it. Um, stay <laughs> awake. Yeah? OK, so um, 10 minutes? Yeah. OK, so 10 minutes from here. So maximum is five people, but it's OK to have less. If you have two, three, four, it's five. It's just that the maximum is five people.